in the last lesson we understood how they create wrong answer choices but can we apply to a cat question that's what we're going to do in this lesson cat 2017 passage now i hope that you have gone and solved the question from the pre session test let's see whether you could i understand how they created the wrong answer choice and whether you could pick those wrong answer choices and get the right one so here is a passage we'll read the passage first it starts by saying despite their fierce reputation vikings may not always be in the plunderers and pillagers popular culture imagine them to be in fact they got their start trading in northern european markets research suggests so the whole discussion is about let me get the color yeah whole discussion is about vikings and uh, they may not have been viking may not have been uh, always been the plunderers and pillagers as popular culture imagine them to be in fact they got their start trading in northern european market so it actually discuss about the uh, trade uh, uh, trading of Vi vikings in northern european market and the fact that they may not al always been the plunderers and pillagers popular culture imagine them to be that's what the research says that's what the the passage starts then it goes on to say combs car from animal handlers as well as combs manufacturing waste and raw, uh, raw antler material has turned up at three archaeological sites in denmark including a medieval marketplace in the city of ribes so here is all the justification of the claim that is being made here so they had they got their start trading in north european markets there is a research so this actually describes that particular research that's what happening in this particular paragraph right uh, a team of researchers from denmark and the uk hope to identify the species of animal to which the antlers once belonged by analyzing collagen proteins in the samples and comparing them across the animal kingdom laura gegel reports for life science somewhat surprisingly molecular analysis of the artifacts reveal that some combs and other material have been carved out from reindeer antlers given the reindeer don't live in denmark the research posits that it arrived from a viking ship from norway and their craftsmanship in the form of decorative combs was part of viking culture such combs serve as a symbol of good health giggle rights the fact that animals shred their antlers also make them easy to collect from large herds that inhabited norway there is a certain research that is there they have some animal uh, and uh, uh, found some animal antlers and uh, they had uh, somewhere here where is it i missed it the uh, uh, the research is posit that it arrived from viking ship from norway so essentially it says that they found in denmark but they don't live in denmark so the researchers are uh, clear hypothesis that in fact these antlers came from norway so basically what this paragraph says is that in denmark they found something and they said that this is uh, this is this does not live in denmark which means this should have come from somewhere else and that place it would have come was norway that's what the research is saying let's look at the next paragraph since the artifacts were found in marketplace areas at each site it's more likely the norsemen came to trade than pillage so that's what that's what it says okay repetition of the main idea that is saying norsemen actually came to trade than pillage because these antlers were found in marketplace most of the artifacts also date to 780s but some are as old as 725 that predates the beginning date of viking raids on great britain by about 70 years Uh, traditionally the so called viking age began with raids in 793 and ended with the Nor uh, norman conquest in great britain 1060 that says that 793 is when the raid began and ended in 1066 but actually you find this in uh, 725 the antlers was found in 725 that essentially suggests that actually that first they came to trade and then the raid happened familiar that yeah archaeologists has has had suspected that the viking had experience with long term maritime voyages that might have preceded the raiding days beyond norway this comb would have been a popular industry in scandinavia as well it is possible that the antler combs represent a larger trade network but the norsemen supplied raw material to the craftsmen in denmark as well 
Okay, so the whole passage is actually talking about this simple idea that the Vikings or the Norsemen actually started trading in the northern European market. That's that's basically the story is. Okay, let's look at each of this question and identify the wrong answer choice. Let's start with question number one. Now the question is asking the primary purpose. The key word here is something that is primary. The first thing that we'll identify is whether something is true or false. And and we also look at if something is not a primary purpose. Something can be a secondary purpose. I, I, or simply a detail, then I should eliminate the answer choice, right? So let's look at answer choice number A. To explain the presence of reindeer antlers in Denmark, and the whole context is about what is happening in Norway, or from Norway, or the Vikings. You would expect that the answer choice must have the word Vikings. This is talking about a detail that is mentioned in the passage. This is a detail that is mentioned in the passage, or an evidence that is mentioned in the passage. To support the main idea uh, of the passage, this is not the right answer choice. To contradict the wide, uh, widely accepted beginning date, now the whole beginning date discussion happened in the third paragraph. That was also uh, a detail. Now this is a very narrow context. This is merely a detail and not the main idea. So A and B are easy elimination. Let's look at C. To challenge the popular perception of Viking as raider, that is true. There was a perception that Viking was raiders. That that's there. There may not have been uh, the plunder pledges popular culture imagined them to be. So there is that part is true. By using evidence that suggests that that uh, early trade relation with Europe, that's also fair. So we'll keep this answer choice to hold. We'll keep it in hold. Let's look at answer choice number D. To argue that besides being violent pledges. Viking were also skilled craftsmen and efficient trader. This is where you are thinking. Oh, this also seems to be right. But if we carefully look at the answer choice, it has got problem. The problem number one is this narrow context, or some something like they are saying that Viking were skilled craftsmen and Viking were efficient trader. Has the passage ever mentioned they were efficient in their trade? Have they mentioned they were skilled craftsmen? This, this, this additional piece uh, of information that is put in there has 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 is not mentioned in the passage. You can think of this as uh, things that are alien to the passage, or even think of uh, context which is very narrow to the whole whole discussion. This is a wrong answer choice. Nowhere it is mentioned that they are efficient trader. Therefore, between answer choice A, B, C, and D, your right answer choice is C. A is wrong. B is wrong. And D is also wrong. Your answer choice is C. Yeah, let's look at question number two. The evidence: most of the artifacts also date to 1780, but some are also 1725. Have been used in the passage to argue that. Now this question is really saying that why? Why was this brought? Why did the author bring this up? Why? For example, if I uh, Uh, we will do this kind of questions later in detail, but for the time being, let me explain this as an example. If I say that uh, alcohol is a pr- primary cause of domestic violence, alcohol is a primary cause of domestic violence, and then I say therefore alcohol should be banned. Alcohol is a primary cause of domestic violence, therefore alcohol should be banned. And if I ask you the question. Why did I say that alcohol is the primary cause of domestic violence? Why? What did that I wanted to argue? I wanted to argue that alcohol should be banned. So this is the why. Why I brought in the discussion. So all we had to do is go back to the passage. <coughs> Sorry, go back to the passage and look at that particular thing and look at why. So let's. This is uh, uh, somewhere here. Okay. So this says most of the artifacts also date to 780, but some are as old as 725. That predates the beginning date of Viking raids by about 70 years. And then he says that uh, uh, this is the key element. Archaeologists had suspected the Vikings had experience with long-term maritime voyages, might have preceded their raiding days. So why why was this brought in the discussion? 
to argue this particular thing which is to say that this this one that we said before the raid they did trade that's a why okay anything else would be a trap let's look at how the questions that are created this trap the beginning date look at this word should have been changed does the author say the beginning word should have been changed does this uh, is he arguing that they are a wrong beginning date no alien and also this word should must all these are also extreme words you can say that this and all may not be that anti choice the working viking raids started as early as 725 now this actually that is false by the way we actually see this uh artifacts is were as old as 725 and the work uh, raid started in 793 So the raid did not start 725. That's that's a false piece of information. Some of the antlers found in Denmark and Great Britain could have come from Scandinavia, in Great Britain. Where is Great Britain mentioned? As I mentioned, Great Britain anywhere else? Oh, there. Okay. Ooh, that predates the beginning of Viking raids from Great Britain by about 70 years. That is okay. But the the issue is that this uh, the some of the artifact. Uh, Uh, from uh, scandinavia went to great britain where is the scandinavia mentioned scandinavia is mentioned uh, here uh, beyond norway the combs have been popular in this scandinavia nothing else about scandinavia is mentioned from scandinavia where it went uh, how it went so the, this whole thing is actually not mentioned in the passage at all this is this is something that is alien to the whole passage therefore right, right answer choice must be d Viking trade relation with Europe predates raid, trade, then raid, and that's something that we identify there as well. First trade and then raid. That's your answer. Right. Question number three. All of the following is true except, which means we have to look at something that is not true. Either something can be false, or something can be uncertain. Here we just have to pick a wrong one. The wrong one is an easy pick. Viking brought reindeer from Norway to Denmark for trade purpose. Oh, you might look at this question setter. Viking brought reindeer. Did Viking bring reindeer the animal? What did they bring? They actually brought antlers. Okay, reindeer antlers. So the whole thing is about bringing reindeer antlers and not carry the bloody animal uh, for trade. Reindeer antlers, because antlers is missing. This would be because it is uh, incorrect. This would be our answer because you have to pick something that is not true. Uh, rest of the thing that you will see that will be true. Before coming to the raiding or northern region, Viking had trade relation with the European nation. Before the raid, they had trade. Perfect. This okay. I have to eliminate this because we are looking at something that is not true. Antler comes regard uh, regarded with Vikings was part of Viking culture. This is actually mentioned right now. Uh, what was this, this thing was part of the Viking culture? This is actually mentioned there, so that's also true. Viking once upon a time had trade relation with Denmark and Scandinavia. Yeah, Scandinavia. And then Denmark. That's also mentioned. So your right answer choice in this case is A. So what you need to understand when you look at the wrong answer choices, even in the CAM, there are traps that are setting. The trap that is setting to trap you into answering the wrong answer choice. Once you have this simple strategy that I'll look to eliminate, I'll try and find out flaws, knowing very well that the wrong answer choices. Are those that are broad, those that are alien, those that are narrow, and those that are extreme? I can have better arc, uh, accuracy in reading comprehension. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.